Hi friends, I'm Amy with Eating Healthy, Spending Less, and today I want to share with you my favorite pizza recipe. I am grain-free, gluten-free, and I don't eat any sugar, and so a lot of recipes call for almond flour, and almond flour is great to use for pizza crust, but it can also be very pricey. So this is one of my go-to recipes. It's super cheap to make, and I hope that you like it. So let's get started. You're just going to take first a glass bowl or any mixing bowl that you have, and you're going to add a half a cup of milk to it. Next, you're going to add one egg. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use grapeseed oil or avocado oil, whatever you would like. Okay, next we're going to add a dash of salt, a dash of garlic powder, use as much or as little as you want, and last but not least, some Italian seasoning, again, use as much as you want. Let's give this a stir. Okay, now comes the fun part, the tapioca starch. You can use an air root starch or whatever you have. This, if you were to put this in your bowl first and then start putting your liquid in, it would get very hard and thick very fast. So we're going to add this now. A little bit at a time, start whisking it in. Once it's incorporated, we will put it in the, our baking dish. Okay, now that I have it all incorporated, as you can see, it's very liquidy and it's supposed to be. You're going to pour it into a greased eight by eight baking dish. I know putting pizza in a baking dish, you're like, what? But I promise you, trust me, you're gonna love it. Okay, we're going to pop this into a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. It's not done cooking, it, but it is more of like a crust consistency. So now we're going to top it with our favorite toppings. I am just using good old pasta sauce. I get this at Aldi's for about a dollar. And so I'm just going to put on as much as I want over my pizza. Next, I'm going to add my favorite toppings. I like to put some spinach on my pizza. I try every single day to eat something that is green. That is just a personal goal of mine. No diet or anything, just a goal. Uh, next I'm going to add some salami. And then we're going to just top this with some mozzarella cheese. I like to freshly shred my own mozzarella cheese. I just think it tastes better. <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, in my opinion, what's a pizza without some olives? So I'm just gonna break up some olives on top of my pizza. Now you're going to put this back into the oven for an additional 10 minutes, and then it will be crispy and delicious. So we'll be right back. Okay, it just came out of the oven, and I wanna show you a close up. It is just delicious. Check that out. So give this recipe a try. I know you're gonna love it. I've made it so many times. And it's also great as a breakfast pizza. You could, after it's in the oven for 10 minutes, pull it out, put some pesto on, crack a couple eggs and some cheese, throw it back in the oven for 10 minutes. It is so good. So give it a try. Thank you for watching. Um, check out my website for eatinghealthyspendingless.com for even more recipes. Have a great day. Bye-bye.